So today I went to meet up with Jack Rotbar, who used to be in Phantom Planet, and he does a lot of producing and songwriting now. We got paired together to work on a song. It was kind of like a blind date set up between uh, her powers that be and my powers that be. Because they thought that we would get on well with each other, and she kind of showed up one day, and we hit it off. It was immediate love when we first met each other because you go to those situations and it's kind of like a play date where you don't really know if you're going to get along. People just put you together and say, go write music and go do things. We recorded the final vocals for the song and uh, it, was, it was a fun little hangout session. It's one of those things where it's not intimidating because I'm not in this huge studio. I'm kind of in his apartment working with him and we, we get along very well. So I immediately know if I'm not doing something right and he doesn't even have to tell me half the time. And when he does, we kind of just give each other a bunch of shit back and forth. Sing out, Louise. That's a. It's not my name, bitch. I know that's a reference to. Don't thing. reference things around me ever. Okay. Okay. Stop it. Imagine that you're like on a hilltop, <laughs> and the wind is like blowing. Have you seen the video for November Rain? We went to a cafe down the street to get some coffee and food, and me and Jack were kind of talking about tour life and um, the balance that you have to kind of attain between working out and eating healthy and you know trying to tour and play shows. And that's always tricky because you know you go out, what if you don't want to get the salad? What if you want to get something else and there's temptation and, there, and everyone else is eating what they want to eat? If you're lucky enough to get a place like where they offer food, it's always like bar food. Yeah. Gross bar food. Yeah, the free food that you get on tour is all like bar food and crap. Yeah, it's like, oh cool, the <laughs> venue supplies <laughs> dinner and then it's just like, oh. Fried chicken wings. Great again. Yeah, yeah, it's the worst. I think because everyone else was kind of eating healthy, it made it easier for me. So we all, you know, we were getting like broccoli and I think like broccoli and spinach and something else. And it was good. This was a good experience as far as studio time and eating well. I feel like my parents could see me now half naked on a table with cameras on me. They'd be super proud. I got a massage, which was like amazing. She put out this huge bed and it smelled really good. There was some kind of magical oil she put on things. And uh, and then, you know, I got to lay in my living room half naked while uh, Keith got to play video games and watch this happen. No, I wasn't real relaxed or anything. You should definitely, you should definitely play some video games. If we could do that every week after workout, I would, I would be all about that because it was magical. I think I f***ed it up the next day though because I went I went out and worked out, and then I was sore again. And I'm like, Every, all the magic that happened last night is gone. Last time we gotta do this exercise. Oh, thank God. Mm hmm It's really hard for me to be excited. Like, when I'm, when I'm getting better at the workouts, or I'm losing inches or things like that, because um, even though I know I'm doing better, everything is a struggle for me. I feel like I'm very cry conscious right now. <laughs> that place where most people stop, you just kind of go. So it's, I mean, it's really cool to watch, but just like, please give yourself some credit, yeah. okay? I just what? feel like I could do better. Really? What I gave her today is really hard. Throwing in full body work, working with the ball, working hand-eye, throwing in increments with the treadmill, which I'm starting to do to help her kind of prepare for those hard moments in the 5K. I think it's hard for me to, to be happy with the progress that I make because I always expect more. I don't think she acknowledges how special she is, how hard she works, and how much she accomplishes in a lot of areas of her life. And it's so representative here with everything she's accomplished. I mean, five weeks ago, she was passing out, throwing up in the toilet from doing, I would say, 20% of that intensity that we did today. I've been getting a lot of compliments from people that I don't see very often. They're like, you slimmed down a ton. Or even Keith, like he'll make comments about, you slimmed down in the face. and. I see myself every day, so it's hard for me to always see that, I guess. She's really done her homework on the outside. She's really committed to that and getting enough food in number one and water, and it was totally reflected in her measurements today. I mean, 12 and a half inches down or 12 and a quarter inch down, it's just so amazing. I could not be happier with her. That's crazy. I mean, that's, I honestly, it's more than I would have expected. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I also loved how 
proportioned it was. It wasn't like it was too much in one space. It feels like everything's coming in really well. I think she's a pretty resilient young lady, but I'd love her to see the intensity, strength, passion, and power that I see in her. And I think once I can get her around that corner, you're gonna see a pretty remarkable shift in Megan's personality, attitude, gym time, career. I don't know, I'm just as big of a fan of her as everybody else is, so it's pretty exciting to watch. Don't you know? I'm not so ready now. It's hard for me to give myself credit for the things that I do, and it's, I don't, I'm not entirely sure where that comes from. This is a part that sucks, and I know it's gonna be better. I know I'm gonna do it, but it's hard, and I'm struggling through it, but I'm gonna make it. I know that you guys are gonna make it because you guys are following me along on this whole journey, and you're amazing, and uh, we're gonna get through it together. So I will see you guys next week, and I love you very much. Bye. Hey guys, this is Megan. I hope that you enjoyed the show. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to 3V, and catch more Star Maker on 3V coming up soon. Being sexy isn't all about looks. Watch Carrie Riley uncover the sexiest parts of Amanda Russell. Megan's journey's going strong, but she has to step it up to beat this next obstacle. See if she can finish her first 5K here. Nappy tabs aren't the only ones getting down in Boston. Check out Baby London as he puts his twist on shake, rattle, and roll. Men's health trainer David Jack guides you on a 30-second total body workout. How many rounds can you handle? Subscribe for more health tips. Your body will thank you.